Hello. Test. Ah. That's loud. Hello, and welcome to the stream. Audio stuff seems to be good. Make sure... Notification out. That's all well and good. Go ahead and shut that off. Because... I can't turn that down. There we go. So, those of you who weren't here last time, I did this map called Vacant Industry. Oh, Gmod, yeah. This map on Gmod called Vacant Industry. Live scene. Okay, it automatically captured it. We'll switch to it. Cool. And, uh,. Making sure it's all running good. What I didn't know is that here in the beginning, I missed I missed a crucial piece of information. This thing. There was like this door at the very bottom of. I think it was a sort of elevator shaft that uh. It was like a broken down door that no matter what, I could not get into. And so I looked into it. Apparently, you're supposed to take that C4 and bring it to that door. And it'll bust it open. Which, I don't know how I was supposed to know that, but... I don't know anything else about that. Besides the fact that I needed to have that C4. Let's go ahead and bring this into the elevator. Yeah, just gotta get jump right into it. Barely any preamble, but you know what? That's this thing. Door over there. Or a grate or something. Uh. Apparently, though, there is some lore to this place. Uh, I think the lore is that there was some sort of like Antarctic ice shelf and it just kind of had an earthquake and split open. With this factory being in the middle of it. Oh, hello, frame drops. I did not miss you. Uh, I assume I can get up there, it looks like it. Anyways, uh, 
and then apparently only like a day later or something this factory started billowing smoke out of its smokestacks showing that it wasn't as vacant as people thought which is kind of spooky but instead of hopping into a new map I figured I'd go ahead and get back into this one and make sure it's its secrets have been unveiled. There's that funky ball music. couple of other areas I neglected while well, I, I missed on my first run through. I will fix that in this stream. Let's go in. Stairwell. Ooh. Ooh, indeed. Okay, did it do something good? Now, I'm not sure about that Omni tool. Uh, bringing it down here, because I don't know if it does anything significant. I know there's some... Oh, that's rain! That's what that is. I think. Yeah, that's rain. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's gas. Gas. <laughs> uh, I think there was something in here that I missed. We'll put this by the door. This was the first thing I noticed that I missed. Strange sort of back rooms-ish area. This genius. That was close. Oh, great. So I can't go that way because. Oh! 
And please tell me I'm not in the septic tank of this place. Whoa. In fact, I'm not sure where I am. Whoop! Whoa! Ouch. Alright. I'm in like the f the underbelly. no like information on anything in this map in the map oh well hmm I'll we'll just no clip up and see what's in there oh lava huh all right There's something down there. Nothing that doesn't happen. What is the purpose of this? Hmm. Just need to see what's in there then. Turn them over! Just a second. Have to check the weather here in a bit. I didn't know it was gonna storm. Well, I knew it was gonna storm, but like, not. Ugh. Although I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do past this. Oh, I have found what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Kind of vacuumed in there. Down to the area with the reactor. It just goes in a loop. Hmm. Now this is how I'm supposed to get into the 
the area with this where I need to see. But what I didn't know is that I needed to get in. Need to gas it up. How I gas up the bulldozer? I, I figured that would be a thing I would do on stream. Maybe something in here, because I didn't really explore this area at all that much. Oh, it's just sort of bent. Die if I go into that. Oh, you smunk bitch. Yep. Dang. Really hope that wasn't the power going on and off. In real life, I mean. Oh, this is like the bottom of that elevator shaft. Alright. Well, I'm just gonna cheat my way up there. looking for is a gas can. I'll have that come down while I go get the sea food. I didn't need the omni tool for anything because I forgot where I left it. <laughs> Where in the world is this gas can? Whoops. I remember here. Oh, 
I think I found the gas cans. I found the gas can. Oh, and I see the room I was just in. Cool. Oh, come on. Slowly and carefully. It probably expects me to do this one way, but I'm just gonna do this. Like punk. Oh no! Hmm. While I'm over here, I may as well grab the Omni tool, because I think I'll need it in the reactor room. Yeah, I left it over here. I think... Oh, there it is. I'll just throw this down the hole, haphazardly. It's not like it's full of gasoline. And this... I'll just look for it. If it falls... Some random place in there. Oh, I see it. And just slams it against everything. Now I will need that Omni tool later for the reactor room, but I don't know if I'll need it for anything else. Prior to that. sort of inventory that I could just store th things in. would be very helpful, right? Is the frame rate so low? I'll need to look into fixing that. Thank you. 
Oh. I don't know how I never noticed that. <laughs> this is what's like to turn the lights off in the basement before you run upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, oh no, oh no, oh no. The only difference is there might actually be something following me. Is it? Come on. That was somewhat anticlimactic, but that was awesome. <laughs> Still going. Oh, it stopped. Here we are. This was that whole abandoned ish area. AKA for where I needed to bring the C4. So I might have to jump for it, which, oh, I don't want to, I don't know what that screech belonged to, and I don't care to find out. Oop. Geronimo! So it's over here. There it is. Uh oh. Awesome. Awesome possum. Now this is uncharted territory. Spooky, real fast. An open door and an otherwise Close and dark room. Sure, that maybe this place isn't vacant. Maybe just short staffed, but not vacant. Hello? 
I hope that came up on camera because that was. I'm gonna get the shotgun out. Oh, it's just laundry room. Ain't no demons gonna fuck with me. For I have a 12 gauge shotgun. going on here huh that's some sort of instructions Take the elevator and get out. Oh, the elevator doesn't work. That's not a pleasant sound. Well. Whoa! Ah! Oh. Huh. That explains nothing. Hmm. I'm just gonna no clip down to where the. I'm first gonna need the Omni tool. Because I assume that's the only way to get to, uh. into the reactor has some some significance. We start pumps. even oh wait I think I kind of oh those are the those are the the coolant pumps what was it I went through that one vent and then I couldn't go down because oh there's no toll board trigger okay get yeah, fine with me where does this go Oh, there was another vent somewhere. Yeah, I feel kind of bad for no clipping everywhere, but... Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to find most of this. Another thing. Hmm. I'm unsure of what this means. I assume it's something important. For you see, my brain is too smooth. Coolant insufficient. Okay. Coolant full.
Oh. Uh. Whoops. I guess I need to somehow move the coolant from there to in there. Yay! It's a puzzle. I hope. Whoa! I could go for a good puzzle. Or maybe it's just an act of twisting the correct valve. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. There we are. So I'm just gonna be silly and no clip up. Where did I leave the There it is. before the place goes into meltdown. Oh, wait. I'm not sure what this is doing. It's getting rid of the electricity?
interloper, I communicate to you through the device you carry. Your repairs on my control modules are immensely valued. If that means anything to you. Kind of. Despite your crude, but vital repairs, I am still in no condition to assist with anything materialistic. But what are you? Now that I have regained some control to my mega structure, what? Perhaps it is not too late to right my wrongdoings. Huh. I am baffled as to what you are, as well as your intentions. You're a descendant of my absent recreations, are you? What? You seem to be the inquisitive type, a researcher perhaps? No, I'm someone who's about to drink a Pepsi. <laughs> you seem more rational than your early predecessors. What do you mean? Excuse me. Let me take my the device around my complex. I might just give you the information you seek. All right, bet. First, I'm gonna take it to the the downstairs with that weird ghosty goo thing. I don't know what the heck that's all about. One of many tests on organic hybrid machines. One day I might be ran entirely off organic material. What? How different would we be then? Not at all, I guess. That's a bit, uh... Odd. This shaft goes all the way to my lower complex. That's what she said. All 70 kilometers. There could be a whole world down there. Dang. I wish when I jumped down there, there wouldn't just be, you know, a death pit. What do you have to say about that, huh? Ah! <laughs> oh boy. I think I remember seeing something about if you lose something, just look in this area. Yeah. That wasn't difficult. Difficult. Oh, and the, the lift in this room should go down to... The lift in this room should go down. Thank you. Strange map this turned out to be. Ugh, excuse me.
Alright, strange voice, are you gonna tell me why the lights are off in all the places down here? Because that's real susky. What do you have to say about this? Some experiments of mine designed for maintenance. They are the main reason I'm still intact despite my absence. They stopped taking commands from me. <laughs> hmm. Even before my control modules failed. Should uh get that checked out. Cause that seems a little a little not good. Yeah. Oh it's like I hope I didn't drop it again. Not to say about that. Preserved. I cannot access it. Well, you are on your own in there. Well, good thing I already came down here. And let loose whatever. Pirate footsteps. spawn. Okay. Well, since you're speaking through me, I'm just gonna throw you down this elevator shaft. Oh, 
Neat. I'm just gonna be a butt when it comes back to the surface. Not sure what else to do past the head. Let me see what's on the roof. There is no roof. I guess I'll just fly around with no clip. See if there was anything I missed. Oh, I could have brought it all the way down here. Let's see if it knew anything about that. There's only one thing left to do. That is way more than enough C4. Wonder if this will crash the map. <laughs> eh, I'll go into the dev room. So this map was made by Gray the Raptor. I'd I took a look at this last time and credited them then, but I figure I'd do it again because why not? And that was GM Vacant Industry. Pretty cool little thing. Pretty cool. GM My House, which is like a sort of recreation of my house dot wad this uh doom map oh, excuse me which was pretty cool uh if you haven't seen it 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 changes as you play in very subtle 
and like in ways that you wouldn't expect from the Doom engine. It's really cool. And I want to see how they uh, adapted it or recreated it uh, in, in a Gmod map.
I have been muted this whole effing time? Are you serious? Oh, good lord. Now I don't know if I should scrap the stream or not, since I, you know, accidentally muted myself for, what, probably 30 minutes? <laughs> Hang on, I'm kind of interested. If I could see how long I accidentally mute. You know what, I'll check after the stream. Oh boy, that was... Quite the blunder on my part. Find the key. Alright, text on the screen. I found the key. I guess it automatically unlocks that. <sighs> Alright. So we're just doing screamers now? That's fair. Was I not supposed to have my crowbar at this point? Oh no. Oh me oh my. That's scarier than like a screamer. Good golly. Oh, that's lovely. Thanks, strange demon. Four. Since the demon wouldn't let me go through this door. To go all the way around. Pick up the can. <laughs> Con. What's that say? Conservation of momentum. Oh, this is the half life thing, I think. What's up, demon? I assume it's a demon. It's your boy. Or your girl, I don't know. <laughs> I hear. Because I only have one headphone in. I assume all of these are locked. That killed any sort of tension. That this set piece here could have had. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 
It's weird because I have it, like, I have it mounted in everything, so this shouldn't be popping up. <laughs> oh, oh lord. Oh lord. I'll look into it. I'll have it fixed by next stream. Hey, battery. I assume that's going to come in handy. Jump scares are like that. Who got the tactical nuke? Who got the kill streak? Tactical nuke and coming! Anyways. Shut up. As I was gonna say, uh, screamer jump scares like that are just. It's like. <laughs> do something spooky. Don't just go bang in my face. That's. Yeah, it'll make you jump, but. It's not scary. It's just. <laughs> Bones. Find the clipboard with the password. It was probably in here in the very loud room. I bet you this is it. 9182. I'll take it with me just in case. Oh, shut up, people. very unnecessarily loud demon. The unnecessarily loud red demon. Oh, what a stereotypical color that is. You're so original. This isn't a knock on the, the map developer. I, I sure couldn't be able to make something like this. So big props to them. But I will take the piss out of the common horror tropes. Horror. Spooky. Spooky tropes. Nothing? No jump scare? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no! The missing texture. <laughs> oh lord. Hmm? Hi! Bye! Okay. So weird. 
Well, it's not really a weird oven setup. Oh joy! What awaits in here? Another loud jump scare? No, not yet. You guys look very deceased. I know where one battery is. Where the other one is? No idea. Probably. Don't shush me. Really? This is the beginning area. What? Neat that it loops around. Where exactly was that? I remember the direction that car battery was in. Do I remember where exactly the car battery was? Nope. Hope it doesn't have anything to do with the uh, objects that are missing textures. Where was it? Oh, it was this way. I'm getting turned around all sorts of ways. Yeah, thanks for breathing on me. Really appreciated that. Oh wait, no, no. I gotta go this way. Last one. I wouldn't not expect it to uh, be located in some sort of chest. Well, crate. Although chances are it's a whole GM vacant injury, well, a vacant industry thing that I just didn't explore enough.
that? The big book of big text. It's my favorite book. Hmm. Okay, it's good that I can just loop back to the beginning of the map. Because then I can, like, do a double check for everything. Tripped on a lane field. Give me just a second. in my uh, coffee. Creamer is good, except if it's powdered creamer. That, uh, oh, just no thanks. I'd rather drink black coffee than coffee with uh, powdered creamer. The, uh, the missing battery doesn't have anything to do with the, the missing textures. <laughs> that would be... leg in there. Who lost their leg? My leg! I went the wrong way. It is this way. I got a bad ring. Well, 
pancake time. Ah. Oh. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. <laughs> Thank you, G-Man. Was that it? That can't have been it. That's it, I guess. Oh. Well, shoot. It was a fun map and all, but... <sighs> it really just ended? And a couple and a couple of dinky little jump scares. Like really? That's how you're gonna end things? I guess I'll go into the dev room. Well, not dev room, but like map room. Made by a tilg... Tig... Right? Huh. And here's the credits for... GM Screen. Which was very... Very short. But pretty good. It was kind of jump scare filled but it was pretty all right <clears throat> excuse me uh wait where's the map <laughs> oh i thought that was just a skeleton that could be an album cover There we go. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do now. I think I have one more map, which is GM Requiem. Another map made by the same dev, I assume. The loudest chair in the world. Excuse me. I need to get more maps to explore on here. Because this is pretty fun.
earlier I uh I watched the uh the final uh concert of Elton John for America or just in general I think that was slightly emotional oh yeah I think I'm supposed to have nothing empty hands I've had tiny dancers stuck in my head it's like hints. Oh, oh, so this is slightly more expansive than the map. Or somebody goes splat. Restore full power to the facility. We have to turn on the power. Zombies. It's been a while since I played it. Uh, then how am I supposed to get through? That's locked. Can't open that. Can I smack this to open it? Oh, I guess I need to put some sort of thing there. Well, there we go. Cool, there's actual mechanics to this one. I like that. It's a little more puzzle oriented. Yes? This is Project Observer number 11 from the Area 56 Medical Testing Lab. The time is 12.41 p.m. with no 27 following day 8 since execution of Project Work. Uh, power surges have been causing some minor damage to our testing equipment and has even started to affect our sleeping agents uh, to keep our prisoners at bay. Observer number four had to subdue a prisoner due to some sort of negative reaction from the agent itself. Uh, never thought it would come down to that, but there's a first for everything, I suppose. I'll continue to update the notes throughout the next few days. Huh. So I guess I'm dealing with four now, too. We are doing this. Lord. Yeah, I'm dragging y'all into this. <laughs> oh. I think that's not the generator. Not 
just loops. There's a gas can there, which I assume will be needed. Uh, I I didn't ask for that. I need some sort of key. Key. Code. Code key. Storage. I kind of appreciate the lack of scares, because like, there hasn't been many cheap jump scares, and it seems to know, it seems to be like, hyping up its, its spook. So whatever went on here, I assume it wasn't good. <laughs> oh hello, Sonico Moon. Thank you for joining. I'm playing through a very spooky Gary's Mod map. It's very, very spooky. Remember you? Oh dear. Oh! I'm sorry, bud. I probably didn't see it. I haven't done a lot of, like, YouTube videos and stuff. I only ever really stream on Twitch. And then just upload my videos. Well, upload the resulting stream to Twitch. That's not good. Oh.
Plenty of ragdolls on here. Uh, turn on this other generator first. I don't know why it's not breaking. I assume it's something intentional. I will, after a bit, just... Right now, I'm... Oh. on something real quick. Give me just a second. I am returned. So whatever this demon thing is has gotten to these be these observers. And this just loops or Yep. Golly, there's a lot. I am very much digging the atmosphere, though. Oh, 
This is another generator. What? Oh, okay. Oh. Build up to something. Oh, yeah. I don't like this. Wait, it's just bow. It's just endless stairs staring me. Yeah. Jesus. I'm gonna jump out of my skin. Stairs. That's a strange door. Jesus. This is Project Observer number 11 from Area 56 Medical Test Lab. The time is 1.14 a.m. with no 28 following the day 9 since execution of Project Fourth uh, Observer number 4 and myself led test subject to Hotel Tango down to the execution chamber. He started showing signs of rotting gum tissue and bleeding around the eyes. And so we figured it'd be best to put him down before things got out of hand. However, the subject was immune to the nerve agent that was pumped into the chamber and actually managed to break the restraints. Uh, subject Hotel Tango later died due to a self inflicted wound to the neck uh, using a broken bottle. Not sure how he managed to get a hold of it, but security measures have been approved since the incident. Uh, doctors have also agreed to change the solution to try to mitigate. Um, I mean, this is the first time we've seen this, and well, we'll have to go from here. Over now. Huh. Well. I probably shouldn't walk in here, but... Hmm. I 
Do not like that noise. Do not like it, Sam I am. I guess this is nice that this map is wheelchair accessible. I guess I can go check to see how many generators I have left. Oh cool, just two. That's handy. And there's still so much. That's strange. What's that? Oh. through here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So now I guess it's just a game of find that generator. These aren't. Okay. 
I saw nothing. I really did. So it wasn't the generator in here. Chances are I probably just skipped over a door by accident. Oh, I never went up here. Oh, more lore. Funky noises going on in here. This first. Oh boy. No? No jump scare? Alright, fair enough. This doesn't look familiar at all. But hey, I think that's all the generators. Cool. Well, that's not, it would be wise to immediately rush out of here, but I have a feeling this map's has some scares. And some lore. One door open at the very end. Well, 
Ладно. Oh, cool, that loops back around at the beginning. Very helpful. Although, I don't think there was an area I explored here. Yeah, that door and then that boarded. I guess I spawned in some sort of area and just, you know, messed it up. It teleported me to a different area. This is close to where I was. So I'll just see if I can... Oh. Oh well. So I'm gonna be a loser and just... in here. So I, I guess that's it. All the generators are turned on. All the spooks have been seen. Now it is time to escape. Who's calling at this hour? You're not helping. Close to freedom. And there 
you have it. GM Requiem. In comparison to the previous map, where it was very, like the previous map was very jump scare heavy. It was just kind of, eh. Here though, the scares were very much well thought out and very well planned. I quite enjoyed that one. Oh, references, base punch, your loafers. I'll just kind of walk by and show off the. I'm stuck in a tree. <laughs> Beta testers, sound effects. The mapper it was Blinksis. And, and the thank you. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. Whether it was watching it live or watching it later on YouTube. Uh, I plan to do a lot more streams of gmod like this just gotta close the game uh i'm not sure oh i'm not sure how often but you'll be seeing a lot of seeing me a lot more uh thank you for watching again if you're watching this on you uh, youtube uh, please give it a like. That would be very helpful. Uh, sorry for accidentally muting myself for like 30 minutes. Uh, bye.